Hi everyone! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. On today's video guys, I am going to show you how I made this dream crochet top. And this is the front and the back. You can see it's um, cross the, on the back side. It will look like this. So on today's video, I will show you how, how I come up with this dream top now to begin is you need to make a bra cup depending on your size ladies and if you like you can check out on the description below because i will going to attach the link where i made the bra cup and also i tell on that video what size you need it for for your size so to begin you need a tools for to make this dream crochet top so you need a, a scissor a, a scissor and needles big enough to hold and a hook 3.5 millimeter hook i always use this uh, size for my project and a yarn this yarn I may um, I use for this project I'm going to use starlight Vera Moda starlight it ply and this is what 95 premium acrylic and 5% polyester so with a um, glitter on it now to begin with the project, you need to create a bra cup. I've already finished my two bra cup here. This is what I come up with. And it's ready to start with the project. So guys, check out the link first on the description below. And once you finish making the bra cup, uh, come back here and I'll tell you I'll teach you how I come up with a, our project today. So, yeah, let's get started. Now, to begin is I you need to find the chain 3 where you did the bra up and then slip stitch there and attach the yarn. And then start with chain 3, 1, 2, and 3. And then skip one stitch and then double crochet in the next stitch and then double crochet but this time you're going to double crochet in where you skip the stitch and you do the double crochet there and it will look like this see and then now you skip another one stitch and then double crochet on this next stitch and then double crochet where you did the skipping stitch do the double crochet there and then in this in this one you just double crochet no need to skip and that's it so this is how I, this is the starting point where you do chain three and turn your work and then skip another stitch then double crochet and where you skip double crochet there do the same thing in the other one skip and then double crochet where you skip and then in the last stitch you just double crochet there on the third in the chain three so this will be our pattern you just uh please um you just crochet you know uh long enough to to be able to cover all your back and do the same thing until you have enough you know strap for your bar back on on this project i did 23 uh sorry 28 of this row 28 row 
keep going see the chain three and then but one one tip guys if if the yarn is stretchy enough maybe you can do this or this you know maybe you can do 25 row depending how um, the sizes that you want it to be so i will do this one and i will come back once i have long enough as i said i did 28 row of this pattern same thing keep repeating until you have 28 okay and i will come back once i've done long enough and i'll show you what to do next so i am back ladies i have total of 28 uh, row of this strap here now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to attach this uh, strap in the uh, other side of our project so it will look like this you can see look like this so i'm going to attach this one in this side so this like that and it will look like this so I'm going to attach slip stitch and then slip stitch and then turn your work and double crochet where you slip stitch sorry Sing, uh, single crochet depending on you you can do a slip stitch all together single crochet but mine I want it to be secured secured as much as possible so it should be six single crochet all together there you go and of course always make sure to secure it the in part see slip stage and voila and it will look like this now see we're getting there now what i'm we're gonna do is we're gonna put strap on the next on the next side and what how many row I made here I'll just want to count it so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 um, 22 24 26 28 so I did 28 uh, row again in on our neck or our um, strap here in this part here okay now what I'm gonna do is I did seam here I did six seam as what the strap I did okay so in the middle part we just count not counted on the middles but on the right side we're gonna count one two three and i'm gonna attach that there so attach that there and start with one double crochet or one double crochet or chain three one two three and then skip one stitch and do another double crochet and one double crochet where you skip and skip on the middle and then double crochet on the on this on the third part and then double crochet in the second part and then double crochet just use one and it will be lot like this so they do this um 
pattern for another 27 row and I will come back once I did I do both side okay I'll just do this one more and come back here when you have long enough strap for your neck on the next side okay hi everyone I am back and I did all both uh, all both strap for our neck side both 28 row in this side and 28 on this side now what I'm gonna do now is to attach it on this side so I would like to do that like this it's easier so you know box tip it and I'm gonna attach it like this and like that see and you know so I would like to count because this is 20 it row her so I'm gonna divide it by three so on the middle should have eight you know eight row of double crochet and on the other side both sides should be thin so to count is two four six eight thin so I'm going to um, attach this strap on the eight and uh, thin and nine okay and then either way you use your um, your needles or just attach it using the easy method of doing it okay and I will do that off on the camera and I will come back once I've done it the two strap together hi everyone i am back and also i've attached the strap on our back in the back of our project now we're going to now let's start doing um the strap um the edging so on this bottom part uh i would like you to put all your hook here and attach the yarn there so to begin you need to attach and then on this round now on this row you need to put half double crochet here and half just half double crochet on the first chain where we attach the hook and the yarn and then on the next on the next stage put another two here and another two another one and so put another half double crochet and another half double crochet and then the same thing on the next stitch so and it should be all on this round until you arrive you arrive in the other side put another one half double crochet on the very last stitch of our row so in total you should have 110 half double crochet okay and then once you have that come back here and I'll show you what is the next steps and should have the 110 half double crochet okay and i will come back once i finish it hi everyone so i've done with all our edging for total of 110 half double crochet now to begin is i'm going to show you on our edging here in the next project i did so i start here chain uh, chain one then turn around my turn around turn your work around and then uh, do crochet another single crochet in the same state of the chain one 
and then I'll show you so chin one and turn your work and then single crochet on the neck seam seam um, seam stitch over I uh, you did the chin one and then count chain five one two three four and five and then skip four stitch and single crochet in the fives in the next stitch so skip four stitch and single crochet in the next stitch now another five one, five chain one two three four five two and then two four one two three four five two four one two three four five two four one two three four five two so do this pattern all the way around until you reach in the other side and I'll show you how you gonna do that two four two four I'll show you the next steps after this round okay hi everyone I am come back and I've done with the finish with the uh, single crochet and chain five so you should have 20 total total of the of that round there and then next round is next row is uh, chain another um, four that way it count like one double crochet and chain one so one two three and four and turn your work and then do another double crochet on the same space and then chain four one two three and four and double crochet on the next single stitch and chain one and another and chain four and then do the same thing skip make sure to skip the chain five see this so this is should be our second row of our aging so do that and come back once uh, you're done and I will show you what will be the next round hi everyone so I've done with this round now so do the same thing but I'll show you how you're gonna do the same thing so I'm in the last row and I'm gonna put another one chain and double crochet on the same stitch so it should be letter V now um, turn your work and then what I did here is do the same thing so slip stitch on the middle and then chain four one two three and four and do the same thing but here on our chain you should put another just three chain one two three and on the middle there same so on this row do that and come back here once you have in you finish on the other side okay hi everyone i've done with that row now our i'm going to start with the picot stitch i'm going to turn my work down and then single crochet and then chain chain six one two three four five and six and then slip stitch on the six in the very last stitch where you did the chain and then another chain six one two three four five six and then slip stitch on the very first chain and then another single crochet same stitch where do you did the big cut and it will look like this now I will chain three going to do chain three one two and three and then single on the middle and then another chain three one two 
three and then single on the next stitch do the same thing the pay code one two three four five six slip stitch and then one two three four five six and then slip stitch and single crochet and then chain three one two three single on the next and then chain three two three single on the next and pick it again one two three four five six slip stitch and one two three four five six slip stitch and sin single so ladies please do the same thing and then come back here once you finish in the very last stitch and i'll tell you what to do next hi everyone so i've done with my picot run also i cut my yarn already so you should have total of 12 picot together from here to here so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start uh crocheting on this side um on this side here so i need to count what 12 in total so one two three four so i'm gonna so it should be 12 in total so i'm gonna attach my yarn here oopsie touch my yarn there and i do chain one and turn my work like this and then do single one in the same stitch and chain three one two three one two skip two stitch and the work single crochet in the next and chain three skip two stitch and single the next do the same thing skip and should be finishing here right here where we did our four chain so attach in the single and then i will ch chain one and then single crochet in the same space and single on the third three chain single on the next single on the middle of the chain three single two single crochet again on the middle of the chain three single on the chain single single on the single crochet and then two single crochet on this and then the last one should be single as well so it will look like this that's where we attach our um, um, the strap later on so do the same thing on the other side and also uh, I will come back once I've done the strap and also all this I will done the other side and the strap as well so my strap will be 120 depending on how long you want it to be and do that and I'll come back and I'll show you what next hi everyone so I've done putting all the loose in plus this one the where we put the strap on and also I did crochet 120 of this it's very simple guys it's just like a lace a show lace you just attach it there just like that attach on the other side and do the same thing Here you go and this side there you go and then tie it up the 
depend on how tight you want it to be just like that and our project is done so what do you think so this is the front guys this is the front and this is our back it's very um, beautiful with a you know the silvery stuff on it so <laughs> what do you think so you can rock with this on a summer so I hope you will enjoy this so what do you think of our project guys so I hope that you like this little dream crochet tab that I made for you all so if you like this one please make sure to leave me a comment on the comment section and please if you are new on my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will notify on my next video and on my next project so please and also if you made one of, of if you make one like this dream crochet tab feel, feel free to um, share it on my facebook page handmade crochet by anadel you can find it easily there and i'll definitely leave a link where you can share your work the finished work of this dream crochet tab so i hope you enjoy this and i'll see you in my next video love and kisses bye